In the early 18th century, there was a British garrison based in Grenade. It was led by a Captain Blundell, who was known to be a fastidious and punctual officer. A grand ball is said to have taken place one night, and was attended by officers including Blundell. But the next morning, curiosity was piqued when he failed to show up for his duties, an act that was totally out of character for him. Curiosity soon turned to concern, and fearing that he may be unwell, his co-officers decided that they would visit his quarters and ascertain what was going on. When there was no answer, they broke into his room and were greeted by a scene of carnage. Blundell's body was there on the floor and his head had been completely severed. Nobody was able to work out what had happened or to establish any motive for such a frenzied attack. The door had been locked from the inside and there were bars on the windows. An investigation returned a verdict of suicide. The headless ghost of Captain Blundell has been spotted riding through the streets of Grenade at night. He is mounted on a pure black horse. It appears that he cannot rest until it is proven that he was murdered and the culprit is identified. Originally part of the lands attached to Corker House, Corker Park is an attractive amenity consisting of landscaped parks and woodlands. Throughout the year and during daylight hours, the open space is enjoyed by visitors of all ages, but after dark, the park takes on a different vibe altogether. Within the grounds is a tree-lined path known locally as the Devil's Passage. Workers have claimed that they have felt they were being watched while working in this area, while others have described an eerie atmosphere. Visitors have claimed that a headless horseman has been seen galloping through here, while others report the sound of pounding hooves passing by, when the area has been completely deserted. Blackpits Road is now a modern, developed and busy street, just like any other in Dublin. But many years ago, the first Viscount of Baltinglass, Thomas Roper, resided at a property in this area. A member of his family died in suspicious circumstances, and the body was not discovered for several days. Some connected this gruesome death to the occasional presence of a headless horseman that was sometimes sighted in the location, especially during winter months. <laughs> 